and so they were going to be forced to come up and uh, so my question I guess is do the uh, what it what is the exact nature of the relationship with the the aliens that the Sasquatch had has and do they actually you know bring people I mean they t they talked to me about it. they said you know most people would be scared and would pop back in their body but you're not you're used to it so you're not scared and uh, they they were very much you know telepathically communicating to me. I in fact I looked at one of the big black Sasquatch. It was probably seemed like ten foot tall. Sit and he was sitting down. Uh, he was the biggest one there. And uh, I kind of looked in his eyes and he got mad. He made me stop looking in his eyes with, just with his mind. Uh, kind of you know just you know gave me an impression that made me stop doing that and let me know that you know that was that was considered rude. Yeah. It it's interesting you could say that because uh, in 1979, I, uh, when I looked them directly in the eyes, he quickly turned away and put his back to me even. Mm. And uh, uh, it, if you're too direct with them, again, why they do that, I don't know, but if you're too direct with them, they'll turn away and don't like you to look directly at them. Now, you know... I've lived all over the world and visited over 40 countries. So, you know, I mean, in, if you're in Japan, if, if an Italian from Italy was visiting someone in, in, in Japan, uh, they wouldn't hug a person there. They'd probably get a karate chop, you know, yeah. uh, from invading their space because they, they, they stay at a distance and bow. They don't hug or touch. Where in, in Italy, uh, even places in Latin America, they hug each other. Uh, when they see people on the street or any anywhere, if they haven't seen each other, especially for a while. So, why am I saying this? To just to illustrate the differences between cultures, and why people keep thinking, well, why don't they do this? Why don't they do that? How come they did this? And so forth. Well, that's based on our culture, what we know, and we don't know really very much about their secret culture or secret society, because they are... Uh, trying to preserve their race of people without letting us know all their secrets. You yeah. see, and they, I, oh. I asked him why they, you know, uh, uh, didn't come up already. You know, why they didn't reveal themselves to us. You know, anyway, and, and they they were just saying that they wouldn't be accepted, and uh, that because they didn't live a lifestyle like we like we would imagine. I guess they live in groups or, or something to that effect. Right, and, and uh, you know, they told me initially that their planet was being destroyed uh, by volcanic activity and stuff, uh -huh. that it was unsafe uh, there, and that other beings that were not nice were coming in and uh, capturing some of their people. And so uh, a group of, of uh, people from the Pleiades uh, had a whole uh, uh, group of ships there, and they took them on aboard. They took them aboard, befriended them, and said, we will bring you to other planets. And that's what apparently they did. I mean, if this sounds like a sci-fi movie, uh, at times I, I personally feel like an actor in a science fiction movie. Yeah. But this is the real deal. Right. And... Uh, regardless of what people think. Yep. I mean, I can't prove a bit of it, right. but I'm telling the truth, and I'm going to con continue to put this truth out as they want me to. It's, it's that important, because we are destroying the Earth, and the, the Sasquatch are the ultimate environmentalists. They can tune in to the weather, to trees, to other animals, and understand what's going on, especially because now, and all the millions of years ago, they were brought here, by their friends the star people and so uh, they're working with them now with some of the, the star people use the technology and the the sasquatch are down here walking around see they told me they said the star people can't do their work on this planet without the sasquatch and the sasquatch said they cannot do their work without people like me and there's several people like me they said but have, they have not had all the experiences that I have had that they viewed me as uh, the key person in this. And, of course, this is all new to me, whatever they're telling me, and I, 
I just, uh, they've not lied to me in, in any way. They've helped me many, many times. And so I have to go with what they're saying. If it's not the truth, then I've been deceived. But so far, I have not been deceived. Okay, now speaking of the uh, uh, star visitors, Kiwani, are is it just the Pleiadians, or there's various groups of star the various visitors? groups working together with the Pleiadians? They're a okay. whole group of good guys. There's two or three races of people here that are not very nice. Okay, so fact, there are bad evil guys. Intent, but I'm saying that uh, they have told me uh, uh, when the bad. ETs come, even they run and hide, because uh, they will take them, and you won't come back. So they told me, uh, this is an area of Texas, an area of Oklahoma, they told me uh, last year, they said, if you see these lights in the forest at night, do not approach at all. They're not the good guys. Those around here, they said, are the bad guys, and that they will abduct you, and you will never come back. They said some of their people have been taken, and they never came back. So uh, there are the good guys. I've seen several of them, uh, different races of them. They're very friendly and very helpful. And um, Do they generally try to keep the bad guys out in general? I mean, do they try to keep them from even coming to Earth? No, they they don't keep them from coming to Earth. Okay. Everything is based on karmic law, and, of course... Uh, or universal laws, and the, uh, the karmic law is one of them. So they have to be careful what they do, even to the bad guys. So uh, by sticking their nose in the bad guy's business uh, keeps them under check. Uh, uh, that's the best way I know how to say that. Uh, and that uh, uh, people they consider valuable, they watch over more frequently. What is the environment like in the other dimension in their world? I don't know. Uh, They took me there twice. Uh, The ETs took me, uh, and they brought me ahead uh, to about 18 years uh, ahead. Uh, And they told me that I would remember as time went on that I would would, uh, blossom out and all this information would be there. But... I mean, that bothers me. Uh, you know, I mean, I ask them, if you take me, I want to remember everything. And when the Sasquatch people took me, the same thing happened. They said, well, uh, you, our time, they said, is different than your time. Our space is different than your space. So when you came over, we took you through to another dimension. But when we brought you back, it was the same time. So that's why you don't remember. So I thought, well... Why didn't they tell me that beforehand? I asked them to take me, but they didn't explain this until later. So it's like, you know, I can't remember anything, so I can't tell you anything. So what value does that have? So that kind of frustrated me. Occasionally I've gotten frustrated with them and uh, was a little stern with them. But, you know, 99% of the time, I'm, you know, it's just we interact, but they only tell me what they want me to know often they won't answer my questions because uh, it's not the right time. And I don't know everything about them. I I don't. I don't pretend to know. But I do know a lot, a lot more than, again, all the experts, so-called, out there. Yeah, I feel like I know more than most of the experts because there there are no real experts. But, I mean, what makes you an expert is going out there and having the experiences and making contact uh, now, Kawani, you say there are three separate races of forest people. How are they differentiated, and which ones of those are, are the ones that have the offset big toe? Well, um, I'm going to answer it in a different way. Okay. Uh, there are the Sasquatch people, there are the ancient ones, and then there's the dog face people. Now, this is the best to my understanding. Now, uh, the Sasquatch are like the Patterson film, except they have different features, and some of them are not as Uh, ape-like. But they have, again, long arms down to their knees. Uh, They have an ape-like face, even though they are humanoid. 
they're a very, very human.